Hello everybody. Today we're going to fix this crack in a windowsill. This is like a 1950s Georgian house. This is my house in Chicago. And I've got a few sills that have this crack. Not a lot of videos out there on how to fix it. And what I don't want to do is just polish a turd with some caulk or silicone or something like that. I want to make sure it's something that's going to stay. So I'm using this PC uh, epoxy, epoxy injectable repair. We'll see how that goes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna widen up this gap a little bit with a, uh, a crack chaser blade, a diamond blade on a grinder. Then we'll, we'll clean up the dust and inject this, but should look nice when we're all done and be a permanent repair that uh, won't be something I'll need to fix year over year. But uh, I'm just a dad, no real fancy skills in this. So this is done by dad, DIY. crack and we'll clean that out. It should be ready to fill. All right, now we're ready to fill our crack. I'm using this PC injectable epoxy repair. Here again, I got this at Ace Hardware, about $30. Uh, prior to using it, we need to make sure the colors are coming out clear. That's what it says. And then we'll put this, that the colors are coming out equally. And then we'll put this nozzle on and use a, uh, a caulking gun. The caulking gun, it says, needs to be an 18 to one thrust ratio. So that's not your regular gun. Your regular gun is like a three to one, four to one, significantly weaker. Looks even enough to me. All right, seems to be filling in pretty good. We're gonna smooth it out. I'm gonna get a trowel to run over that, spread it out, see if I need to apply any more. But there's the first go at the application. All right, here we are. And I also brought up a little denatured alcohol here, just in case I need to use that to get some of this epoxy off as I clean up the mess here. It always seems to help with things. I'm gonna give one more. So see, you rubbed the, that putty knife and some denatured alcohol here, and that helped me smooth that out. I originally thought maybe I'd have to go back over this and sand it. Now, I don't think I'm going to. I think it looks pretty good. I'll try to clean up a little, but uh, I'm gonna apply a little bit more here right now just to make that look nice. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks, and I know that'll last, so. All right. I'm gonna call that done. The denatured alcohol on the putty knife made a difference with helping it with the artistic aesthetics at the end. But uh, there we go. I'll come back and do a shot as that hardens up. But there it is. All right, coming back up. It looks good. There it is. But I decided I'm gonna hit it with the concrete grinder just to, uh, to get rid of some of that excess epoxy. Uh, that I applied. So here's my concrete grinder. We'll see if that gives it a nice, nice finished look.
All right, there we are. I did the final step with the concrete grinder, just a really light touch. I actually think it scuffed it up, made it a little less glossy, and will help it uh, match up a little nicer. But that's it, done by dad. Epoxy uh, injection on a cracked sill, 1950s Georgian house. This is gonna be something that's gonna last a long time. Easy to do, done by dad, DIY. If I could do it, you could do it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.